91517. I'd like to get a briefing in the Bradley area between now and 10 o'clock. And I need winds at 3 and 6,000. May the wind welcome you with softness. May the sun warm you with his gentle hand. May you fly so high and so well that God joins with you in laughter and returns you safely to the arms of Mother Earth. I ordered him to whatever he did to excel in what he did. If you had told me when I was a little boy that I would be a hot air balloon pilot, I would have thought you were crazy. Once he got in the phone and put his mind to it, he would usually be the best at it. Failure isn't an option. And in reality, failure is one step from success. Each disappointment was an open door to something else. We got to talking and he says, uh, let's start a balloon club. I said, what's a balloon? If you look around at the other balloons in the cruise, you don't see people of color. I told Bill the only color that mattered to me was green. He was an excellent pilot. It wasn't a question of his skills because uh, he was better than most. You do this for a living. He says, you're living the life. I caught a peak of them. My heart's pumped. I know what's going on. I'm like, it's not supposed to happen like this. Hit the ground and drag 15 or 20 yards. And I'm going to get in a little four-foot basket and go up there. No, that's a no no Everybody okay? That was quite a crash. And I went, crash? If that's a crash, I'll do this again. There's no reason I should be sitting here today in Berlin. And that was God's plan in terms of spreading the friendship and the connection and right. the camaraderie. You never know where you're going to land. Every single flight is totally different. His level of faith, regardless of what's going on, he knows at the end of the day it's going to work out. We arrived alive. <laughs> <laughs> so here's to arriving alive.